for another episode of the Nuffle Shuffle on the PS4, episode 4. And this week it's going to be a big one because obviously we're getting very close now. This will be the last show we'll have before the playoff teams are decided. So that is going to be excited. So... This week, we have another legend on the talk show. First of all, we had the champ first week. We had Mystic Ted the second week. We had the big deal Mercer Flush the third week. This week, we've got the guy who knows the best. It is Tripperus. Welcome, Tripperus, to the show. How are we feeling today, buddy? Woo! Yeah, that's uh, what I want to hear. <laughs> fine, fine. Uh, everything is going great. Uh, how about you? Yeah, stressful, stressful weekend, mate. Stressful weekend. Um, I got nuffled in my blood and tears game. I just got my ass spanked by Skaven, and uh, my family were all th- um, throwing up. So uh, <laughs> they've all been sick all weekend. For some bizarre reason, I haven't been yet. So I am, I'm dreading the time where I, uh, I get the illness. So you never know. I may throw up on uh, live on air. What well, wouldn't be a good thing, but I'm sure someone will find it hilarious. But uh, yeah, it's it's been a stressful I would, week. I would. Yeah, I know you would. You me, would me, definitely. I tell you what, Trip always gives me a hard time. Just in case nobody knows who he is, but I'm sure everybody knows who Trip is. His his main goal in life is to annoy poor old me. But um, it's great to have you on the show, buddy. And um, I know for a fact we're gonna we've got a lot to go through this week. And uh, finally, finally, it seems like an age, but it obviously hasn't. But finally, this week we are gonna have our playoff teams, all 32 of them. This will be the first. Obviously, this will be the first uh, season we'll have halflings, goblins, you know, Kislev, the Amazon, you know it, all going to be playing um, in the playoffs. And it's going to be a massive uh, task for the poor old admins because uh, with all them wildcard spots and everything else, oh, what fun we are going to have. Talking about admins, I'll get onto it now. I don't know if it's been officially unveiled yet, but hell, I'll do it anyway. Um, Gimlik, the uh, current champion, has become a PS4 admin, so congratulations to him. He will be helping the likes of myself, Serious Jest. Yes, Serious Jest does still do it, Cass. Um, And um, also we have, obviously, Sam. And another guy we actually have as well, just in case nobody knows, if I'm being mentioned, I'm sure it has. Mercy Flush is also on the PS4 as an admin as well. So you've got got five... um, coaches who are admins now so that hopefully will help us uh, going forward because like i said this this um new player structure although exciting as it is it will be a massive uh, strain on the admin team so uh, hopefully the, the coaches will get their games in nice and quickly and uh, we will have no problems and of course we will try our best to stream as many as we can so with all that rough uh, stuff out the way let's go on to um, our first topic of the week what is always pole position so the first topic is always talking about the team what are first in the league and unfortunately this guy is deciding to sit on his record and we'll ask uh, trip what he thinks about obviously what he thinks about him sitting on his record and also what he thinks to the team so when um, without further ado over to you trip well uh as uh, perhaps uh, many uh has observed uh, he's not playing uh, anymore uh essentially uh, you can't blame that guy uh i think i did the same thing uh, in season two when i was sitting on uh perfect uh, 12 record and it would be like you'd risk so much more playing than not playing and uh he is not a uh, veteran playoff player so i guess just getting into the playoffs would be uh, a milestone uh, to achieve good enough he has uh, 150k uh, he has a team which delivered to him uh, good results uh, of of course it, it would be harder to pin him as any kind of favorite for the playoffs uh, because of course he is uh, in some cases, uh, more than uh, uh, 500 uh, TV short of others, and essentially, what do you um, with, yeah? What, what do you think say. of him having just a one ball? Uh, I I think uh, if I had to, to read uh, how he played his games, uh, he tried to just stay always in fresh range, uh, and uh, that essentially meant uh, uh, he could afford only one ball, ball uh, for for that matter. So I think for 
what he tried to accomplish uh, one by one works just fine. Okay. Now, obviously, with yourself, you're actually Chaos Dwarfs as well. And um, I do believe, are you in the um, the wildcard spot at the moment, if I remember correctly, in seventh place? Yes. Now, would you be scared of facing this Chaos Dwarf team, Red Bull? Definitely not. I, I'd no. be excited. It would be a murder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. While, while, we're, while we're at it, we'll have a look at your team trip, because obviously we, we there's not much else we can say about Red Bull, because he hasn't really played. So I think it's quite interesting. Now we've seen his build. Let's have a look at your build. Well, obviously, he's a lot more scarier than, obviously, his. And um, let's just get your team up here. The uh, big effing cannons. Obviously, your team TV value is a lot higher. It's 1850. At the moment, you've got Bull Centaur out. So, obviously, you'll be wanting to at least play one more game. And, um, yeah, this looks a lot more scary. I mean, obviously, you've got a couple of claw pieces in there, especially that Chaos Dwarf, Dwarf blocker. I mean, crikey, jump up, dauntless. A piling on claw that is a nasty piece that deserves to die a horrible death um but uh, and you got a minotaur as well what was the thinking of the minotaur uh at uh, low team values uh, i was thinking uh, that uh, uh i started without any ball centaurs uh, whatsoever oh, right, uh, okay. because uh because i was thinking low well, it's uh, first uh, Silad, uh, uh, CCL uh, season with Stunty Sim, so essentially there would be guys who would play Dwarfs just because uh, there would be a lot of Stunties, and essentially I wanted uh, a little bit of edge uh, against uh, both guys, uh, uh, just to have Mighty Blow from get-go. And um, uh... this... I mean, interestingly as well, you, you've put something what I never do, um, but you obviously definitely do, is uh, you, you put uh, movement on your blockers. I mean, you've got a movement six blocker. That is e, e pretty fast. And what, what's the thinking of the movement? Is that just for the cage or, or any other reason? Uh, essentially, I find the uh, uh, problem uh, with uh, chops uh, uh, is uh, that... Uh, if you do not uh, put uh, much movement, uh, essentially all your hard-hitting pieces are more than four. Mm. And uh, ball centaurs uh, very rarely uh, or very late uh, only become, well, capable killers if you if you wish, uh, unless you build them as killers. Uh, so, uh, essentially any movement you can slap on your blockers uh, uh, makes you so much more dangerous. To teams mm. who have uh, like uh, catchers, uh, stunty players, uh, it, it allows you to get in range or keep them further at bay. Yeah, I mean, I mean, is it, I mean, looking at this, I mean, obviously, looking at the team, is it apart from obviously getting you your ball centre back? Is there anything else you want to get ready before the playoffs? Is there any uh, guy you want to skill up or, or any, anything else? What? I mean, how many more games do you think you'll play with these? Are, are you not bothered, or have you got a like, particular set, like, I just want to play one more game with these guys, or what's your plan with them? Uh, my plan is uh, just to essentially get a team uh, where everybody is available for uh, the next game, uh, mm -hmm. because I, I really wouldn't want to be that guy who would crash out in the first uh, round and look at that piece, which uh, essentially could have changed the game. Yeah. And yeah. it would be total on me. Yeah. I mean, like I said, it's a nicely developed team. Is it, In the playoffs, uh, is there any like race you don't want to face? Is there any, any team you, what you think is a bad matchup for yours? Like, say, oh, God, I don't want to play them. Is, is there anything you, you'd rather dodge? Without a doubt, uh, necro teams, where they get, get in uh, with Gimlik, well, oh, Gimlik, uh, Gimlik, I think they stand out, uh, it would be uh, you and Gimlik. Yeah, we're looking pretty good, to be fair. I mean, um, but Gimlik's team's immense, it is just deadly. Um, the, the, I mean, the champ, I mean, no, no uh, ex-champion has ever won two on the trot. But I tell you what, Gimlik's team, is it's looking, it's looking really 
it's serious. And um, it, it, I wouldn't put it past him um, being the first um, coach to win back-to-backs. And the, th- the scary thing as well is, I mean, I've known Gimlick a long time and he seems to be improving as a coach as well. So he was already a good coach. Now he's becoming one of the best on the PS4. And like I said, when he plays Necro, it is scary. And obviously he's got a mighty blow killing machine wolf as well. And his other, his other wolf's got mighty blow as well. So... Um, Add that to the rest of the stuff. He's got strength five golem, but um, yeah, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I I wouldn't want to face him either, to be fair. But um, yeah. So you and, uh, I have fa- good. Uh, yeah, if I may add, uh, I also have uh, faced him three times. Uh, well, uh, I lost uh, all three of them. Oof. Uh, one one was a dice thing. One was uh, well a fair game. One essentially just uh, better team won. Yeah. And another one uh, was looking like uh, I I would be winning that one because well he scored first no major damage uh, I was looking good to, to uh, get a one one on his offensive drive and blue screen oh Ray. no oh man blue screens I mean we without going too much into blue screens I mean they, they are bloody annoying and I always find blue screens always happen when you're winning. They never come on when you're losing, usually. You know, that, that that's the annoying thing. It's not like, you know, oh, I'm getting beat 3-0 or something and they blue screen. Because at least at the end of the day, although it's still annoying, at least, you know, you weren't going to win the game. It's always when you're either winning or you've got a good chance of getting a positive result that I find more annoying than anything else. Um, but I think a... uh, that, that would be a, a bit of uh, perception bias uh, because, well, uh, coaches, like, uh, essentially, who are buying for qualifying uh, spots, uh, are just winning so much more, so it's mm. just more more likely to get them when you're winning. Yeah, yeah. So, there we go then. So, I mean, like I said, Red Bull looking good. I mean, the interesting thing is he's also been playing Chaos as well, and uh, he's had mixed results with his Chaos team. Um, so, um, it'll be interesting. I, I played his Chaos. He, he positions really well, does Robin does he's own. He's a good coach. Um, like I said, I've only played him once, so I can't be... Is it, is it Arzawain standard, or... Um, you know, a stare, I say, Sagal, um standard. <laughs> Might as well get Sagal. Yeah, certainly a <laughs> uh, Sagal standard. Certainly a Sagal. To... <laughs> I had uh, to get that in. I knew that I'd get you. I know there's a yeah, few people yeah. who would... Um, but, 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 but Sagal is uh, this season doing uh, not, not uh, the Sagal way, but uh, get, getting back uh, at Robin. Uh, if you look uh, who he has played, uh, the highest ranked team, uh, he has played uh, is uh, did I put that? Uh, I think it's uh, yes, it is uh, twenty twenty six. I think yeah. Yeah, I'm just looking at it now. Is is uh, yeah? It's <laughs> I can't. I mean, Footloose. I think that was some Andy no, no. halfling team. <laughs> Are we looking at his ogres, I presume, yeah? yeah? Uh, could you repeat the question? Sorry, are we looking at Sagal's ogres? Uh, no, I'm looking uh, at his record uh, in uh, Goblin Spy, where you can uh, essentially see the quality of the position he has faced. Ah, and, right, uh, okay. Uh, and uh, highest ranked uh, coach he highest ranked team he has faced is uh, 29th or something like that yes and essentially out of uh, on average uh, rank of teams he's faced uh, it's quite low and let's see uh, how high is ranked team who has faced anything uh, lower well essentially had easier games than him. Uh, it's 42, so essentially he has uh, played uh, as good a position as somebody who would be right at 42. Mm. So, I mean, like, like essentially, I said, he's a dark horse. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I, I just mentioned Sagal because I know everyone goes bonkers when I say about Sagal. But I mean, my 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 most favourite coach is back. And it's not Sergal, Demented is back with his Wood Elves. And um, I'm really excited about that because I love Demented a bit. So I think his, his position is probably the best in the game. 
And um, I, I can't wait to see what his wood elves do. But yeah, I mean, like I say, um, I think Azwin's gone with go um, ghouls. Azwin's gone with goblins. Um, Sergal's gone with um, ogres. Obviously, there's no cash involved this season, so they're all having a bit of fun with these uh, funny teams. So that's always good to see. But we'll um, we'll we'll talk about more about that in in a more um, about the obviously the the ladder because obviously I do want to go into that in a bit more detail later on because obviously it's it's the, it's the last show before we uh, get to see who plays who. Um, so next next um, thing is to let's ask the court some questions. So this week it's trippers, so some nice easy questions. Trip, um, what made you play Blood Bowl and how long have you played it? Uh, what made me play Blood Bowl? Well, uh, essentially, uh, on tabletop uh, levels, uh, there has been always people around who were playing Blood Bowl. Well, essentially, mm -hmm. in the game, so I was playing uh, mostly uh, Vampire the Turn. It's a card game, a rather old one. And uh, occasionally, there would be like two guys uh, playing their league game uh, on another table. And, uh, it always looked like uh, a game which could be cool, uh, but uh, it would be very hard to get into. Uh, I did try Blood Bowl 1. Uh, at some point, uh, uh, I kind of instantly hated it uh, because uh, it, it, it was uh, already quite old at that point, and uh, the tutorial was a total, total mess. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, but but essentially, uh, both these factors had uh, Blood Bowl uh, uh, on back of, of of my mind, uh, and essentially on PS4, uh, I did play uh, some Amelo. Uh, it, it's also a, a nice uh, board game like uh, game on PS4, and essentially I wanted uh, something more in that vein, and uh, Blood Bowl 2 came out and. I decided to give it a shot, and uh, I think uh, I played it uh, mostly hunting trophies and left uh, it uh, at a point uh, when uh, there w uh, I needed it to get like level level seven player, which of course a lot of grind. Uh, and then I dropped uh, Blood Bowl two. Uh, and after that, uh, after some time, I started to think again it would be nice uh, to play some board game like uh, thing, but uh, nothing new has come out, uh, and uh, I decided to pick uh, up uh, Blood Bowl 2 again, uh, and essentially realizing that uh, mostly, uh, essentially, where longevity lies with Blood Bowl is joining uh, some random. Uh, Private league, uh, I joined one, and uh, essentially it kept me going and playing both in uh, our official ladder or well before uh, C ladder uh, or CCL uh, in open ladder, and well, when it came out on um, Champions Cup, Champions ladder. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, like, like um, I say, the the private leagues I think do have a big, big say, obviously, in 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 the Blood Bowl community, especially on the PS on the Xbox, because having a good private league is obviously very important. But I th I think the the champion ladder itself has been a big shot in the arm because obviously, especially when they've got cash involved, a lot of people seem to have uh, decided not to play this season because there's no cash. But obviously. Fingers crossed cash will be back um, in the new season, what we've been told when most of the books have been squashed. Um, so, yeah, I mean, like I said, um, it, it's good to have, obviously, players like yourself on, on, on the game, and it's always always good to get your thoughts on how, what made you play Blood Bowl, and it's interesting to see what, what you didn't like about uh, Blood Bowl 1 there regarding the tutorial and everything like that. Um, so, yeah, it, it's pretty good. Um, next question, what's your favourite race and why? Uh, I'm usually a guy who does not like to pick uh, favorites, uh, but uh, at this point, uh, I think uh, I really like uh, North mm -hmm. the most, uh, because uh, mostly of two factors. Uh, one is like uh, being a, a pretty special snowflake and playing a team 
uh, few players can actually play and uh, essential uh, and another thing uh, is essentially how they play uh, I, I think a lot of people at least tried north but uh, they do not really work uh, they are really unforgiven uh, uh, unless you know exactly what you are doing, uh, you are not afraid to play booze and essentially take risks and yeah, I mean, it quite exhilarating. Yeah, I, I'm not a fan of Norse, I must admit. I, it's one of the very few teams I really detest. Um, I, th I think it's just a lack of um, access on the, uh, on the land and I mean obviously if they could get strength, strength access, I'd like them a lot more, but they don't. Um, so you know, they're going to get blocked and around the seven, and they're going to get slapped a lot. Where at least with Amazons they've got easy access to bludge. Um, I I just I don't know I I I I always keep trying to convince myself to have a run with Norse in the um, in the ladder, but I've I've just never got round to it. But uh, I know you play them very well. You're probably one of the best people I know who plays them really really well. And um, obviously he played really well last season. He was really unlucky um, not to get any further than the first round with them. A certain Griff Orbwald uh, put pay to that. But, um, you know, um, I really do like you where uh, we know. So I'm hoping you'll uh, come back with us sometime in the sea ladder because, uh, you know, I, I do like you playing them. So please do. Um, what what team do you struggle to play and what team do you struggle to play against, Trip? Uh, I, as I uh, try out, uh, well, uh, one of my goals, uh, personal goals and global, is to at least uh, try out uh, all the races properly. Uh, it really depends on matchup. Mm -hmm. Dwarves uh, will always struggle against Necro. Uh, Moss will always struggle against something against like uh, Orcs. Uh, uh, but in terms. Well, but, but I think uh, I'm f familiar with most of the teams to essentially have uh, counters to many of them. B lately, I, I, I think I struggle uh, quite a bit against uh, vampires uh, because, uh, <laughs> well, they are really very annoying defensively. And, uh, yeah. and uh, when a good uh, player is handling them, uh, essentially they are playing... Uh, uh, so passively, uh, it uh, almost makes my uh, blood boil. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, Be Bears, obviously, who we both know, he 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 goes bonkers when he plays vampires. This is a two OP. I'm like, they're not OP, but it, it's interesting how many people seem to to not like playing them. I mean, obviously, hypnotic gaze is a pain in the backside, but I I don't think they're as bad as as some people say. Maybe I've just been lucky against them. Um, but um, yeah, a lot of people don't like playing against vamps, but they don't like playing them. So uh, it's interesting to see. Uh, just a, shomp, uh, a shout out to Stomper who's got in the chat. Doctor Doom and Double B in the house. I'm sure he means you. You must be Doctor Doom. Can't, can't be me. Um, so um, yeah, I mean that that is interesting to know that vampires. So if you want to annoy and make uh, trips blood boil, just play vamps. So finally, uh, the last question I've got for you. Nice and easy one. Who do you think is the best star player in the game, and which one is your favorite? Uh, the best star player? I guess it would be uh, Griff. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, most uh, star players uh, are de designed uh, to do like w one thing uh, to counter uh, uh, something uh, in particular, and of damage dealing. Uh, he is a very solid builder. He has a lot of inbuilt uh, rerolls, which is uh, less of an issue. Uh, he can carry the game uh, on himself. He does the rest of the team. So when, we, when you pick it, uh, it doesn't matter. We're, um, we're losing you, Trip. You're, you're, you're cutting out, buddy. For some reason, um, I don't know if you can oh. try and sort that out. Oh, I can well, try, but there we go. While you're doing that, I'm just showing him um, Griff Oberwald, um, the guy you uh, said is really good. I mean, the good thing about Griff is because um, obviously star players they've, they've got the the uh, the loner thing, what makes him a bit dodgy. 
Um, but this guy, obviously, he's, he's movement 7, strength 4, agility 4, armor 8, bludge, fend, show feet, sprint. So basically, he's got his, he, apart from picking the ball up, or um, he's got his, his rerolls built in. Um, and that's why people like him. 320k is not bad price for him. Um, obviously, I, I had him in my uh, Bretonian team when I got to the final. He, he was just fantastic. Um, such a reliable piece. And um, he's very popular. And I think, you know, out, out of him and say Morgan Thorg, if you look at Morgan Thorg next to him, 430k or Griff for 320k. I, I take Griff every day of the week. I think Griff's just, just amazing. Um, we, um, I don't know if you're still there, Trip, but which is your favourite star player? Oh, Trip has left the party, so we'll try and get him back in a minute. So, obviously, he's got a problem. So, let's see if we can uh, get him back. So, just bear with me one moment, guys. See if we can get him back into it. He's obviously got a few technical issues with his uh, mic. So, let's see if we can get him back. Otherwise, I'll just chat until he gets back in. So, there we go. So yeah, I mean, like I say, Griff's a really good player. One of my most favourite players. Um, I think I think Morgan Thorg is very, very uh, overpriced. I mean, every time I sort of see Morgan Thorg on the pitch, it's like you you're sort of like, oh yeah, uh oh, uh, he, he's a nasty piece. But you're thinking, crikey, that means the guy's probably not took a wizard. He hasn't took you know anything else was useful. Um, uh, Stomper saying you're gonna play them against Bears or two now. What are you playing in Stomper? Do, do, do. And Trip is back. Are you there, Trip? And Trip has gone again. Ah, oh, dear me, Trip. I tell you what. I get, I get Gimlick on. No problems. I get. And obviously, he's the current champion. I get Mystic Ted on. No problems. I get kind of a big deal. Yep, that's right, Mesa Flush, no problems. And then we we'll let the we we'll let the trouble cause her. The guy who gives me grief all the time, Tripper is on, and look what happens. I don't know. Come on, Trip. Vamps against Bezo for giggles. Why not? Is Bezo allowed back in the farm now, is he stomp? As 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 the nasty man decided to uh to let him back in. But uh oh wow. So we'll we'll see if we can get um Let's have a look. I'm just thinking what to do. I don't know if I should, like, cancel. Oh, he's back. Are we back this time, Trip? Nope, he's not. He's, he's got a problem. He's farming it up. That's disgraceful, there. Eh? Good, 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 good to see, yeah, Preach is uh, um, always a, an, 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 an honest guy. Yeah, good to see that them bands are keeping place. Would be would be terrible to think he had, he had a major issue with somebody. You know, it's it it, it stooped that low stomper. Eh? Um, now then, um, we have a problem with trip. Let's see if I can uh, sort it out. Because he's not there, so I'm going to leave chat. So bear me with one second. Oh, hang on, he's coming back on. Can you hear me? Nope, he's not. So bear with me. All right then, I will just basically got rid of the party. Uh, Dan, will we start router? Okay, it is. There's always trouble when trips around. Absolutely. So while while he's obviously doing what he's doing, I've just uh, basically, if you're still there, trip, I've just basically um, closed the party and put another one in. But while he's obviously gone, um, we'll have a look at the. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let me go back to the champion ladder leaderboard. Let's have a look at the champ while we're waiting for him. Moonlight, Necromantic, Gimlick, obviously the current champion, and is trying to be the first coach to ever win back-to-back -back, uh, championships. And uh, his team's pretty, pretty nasty. So we'll have a look at that while we are waiting for the tripster. 150k in the bank, a whopping 2080 TV. That is scary. And let's have a look. So he's got his two two wolves here. As you can see, both of them already have Mighty Blow. Both have got Tackle. Both are Blodge Killers. Um, he's number two where um, Wolf has got niggling injuries. So I suppose that's one thing for us all to cling on to. 
Um, he's got a, he's obviously what a name that is, Bernie. That's a lucky name for most people. Bernie the return, still looking for his first championship. Um, he's got strength five golem there as well. Strength four white, agility four goal. Uh, with with obviously a uh, diving tackle uh, to boot as well with bludge sidestep. He's now um, starting to get a bit more guard. That was his only main concern. He's now got four pieces, but it's not too shabby. He got a few wrestle zombies there as well. This team's really, really good. Um, how much more he'll play with this team, I'm not sure. I mean, he, obviously, I speak to, to uh, Gimlick a lot, and he, he he was thinking he might get a game on tonight. So um, we'll see. Trip, I've already invited yet, but uh, I'll try it again. So just bear with me. He's actually coming on now, so hopefully... Hopefully, we can hear him in a moment. Are you there, Trip? Come on, Trip. So, uh, and Trippers officially has joined the party. Now, can we hear Tripperus? Trippers has left the party. So, uh, that is interesting. So, we're, we're on a bit of an issue because this is actually a new party chat as well. So, I don't know what's going to go on there. So, it's, um, hmm. Interesting. So th that is basically, obviously, Gimlick's team. It is pretty impressive. Um, 28 wins, 11 draws, 5 losses. So that's a good record. He beat the Slim Lizards there earlier. I mean, the thing is, as well, this guy has been playing a lot of the top teams as well. You know, he he's not really got too lucky with who he's played. So, um, you know, he he's obviously going to make the playoffs. He's the champ. He's going to go through as a top Necro team. And uh, I think it's safe to say nobody will want to wear um, be drawn against him. Put Hi, like Hello. Woo! Hello. He's back. Woo! God, dear me. I thought I was going to do the show by myself then. Um, just talking about no, no. the the, uh, the champs team. So, um, hey ho. Now then, um, what we're going to try, and, and typically we're going to try it now after you, you've been a bit ropey, is one thing what we've been thinking of doing, and, and uh, especially from the Xbox crowd, we've had a few people asking, is trying to do a part of the segment of the show now we're on Twitch, where um, looking at... Um, good defense setups or best offensive setups. So um, we're going to ask Tri Trip to show us one of his uh, best setups. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just um, try and get him to a, a friendly. And then obviously, well, that, and then obviously he's going to show us one of his uh, setups and the reason why it's good and vi vice versa and all that stuff. So bear with me one moment and I'll uh, invite Trip to it. This may go right. This may go horribly wrong. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. So uh, just bear with me. I'll put the screen. will probably go blue. Maybe. So let's look for trip. And there he is. I'll confirm. Send invitation to trip. Hopefully this will work. And, um, doesn't really matter who I I uh, pick. Why send that for? I don't know. So. So we're just waiting for a trip to um, hopefully, yeah. So this is something we haven't done before, so we're hoping it works. Seems like my uh, wonderful uh, screen has gone a bit weird. Have you accepted the invite trip? Yep. Yeah. I'm picking team. Okay. So basically what we're going to do here, guys, is just show you a setup. That's all we're doing. Um, but um, unfortunately, my wonderful uh, PS4 has decided to be polishing a crystal ball and has decided to just go dead on me. So uh, all good when it goes live like this. Come on. What are you doing? <laughs> If it's not me, it's you. I know, I know. I, th no. I think my I think my game's actually crashed. <laughs> I think it's crashed my game because it's not yeah, even spinning. Yeah, seems so. So I will just go out with that, and you'll probably have to. I'll close 